Hi kids! Welcome back! For today, we are going to discuss your lesson about identify pieces of evidence affecting chemical change with the application of heat. For our most essential learning competency, investigate changes that happen in materials under the following conditions. Number one, presence or lack of oxygen. And number two, application of heat. For today's objective, identify pieces of evidence affecting chemical change with the application of heat. Let's ignite your curiosity, discover something new, unleash your inner scientist with Science 5! I am your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. For our guide questions, number one, what is chemical change? Number two, what are the examples of chemical change due to the application of heat? And number three, what are the evidences that application of heat causes chemical change? Take a look at the three illustrations. What does the set of illustrations tell us? Yes, you're correct. This set of illustration shows how application of heat change a material. The three illustrations tells us chemical change that could happen if there is an application of heat. From our previous lesson, we define chemical change as From our previous lesson, we define chemical change as Chemical change. It takes place when a new substance or material is formed, this could be possible if the material is exposed to heat. Always remember that chemical change forms a new product due to the chemical reaction that takes place when heat is applied in a material. This type of change is irreversible. Let's try to observe this set of illustrations. Are these set of illustrations are example of change? Which of the two is the chemical change due to the application of heat? Physical change due to the application of heat. Burning a crayon. A melting candle. An ice cream under the sun. Chemical change due to the application of heat. Frying an egg. Burning a paper. Grilling a chicken breast. Here are the evidences that application of heat causes chemical change in a material. For frying an egg, when heat is applied on the egg proteins, it will break down and form a new bond with other proteins. Water will also evaporate during this process, making the egg to turn into solid state. This process is irreversible because we cannot turn back the egg from its initial state. For burning a paper, when heat is applied together with oxygen and fuel, combustion will occur. For its end product, ashes are formed as a new substance. This change is irreversible and we cannot turn back ashes into its original form. For grilling a chicken breast, heat breaks down the protein present in the chicken, turning it into amino acids that reacts with sugar present in the food, making this brown-like substance on the surface of a grilled meat. This process is irreversible as well. Did you learn something new in our today's lesson? Good job! I'm so happy to hear that. See you again in our next lesson. This is your virtual teacher, Teacher Regine. See you again in our next one. Bye!